And one of the biggest tricks of shaitan is to belittle any good that you do. This is one of the traps and the tricks of shaitan is to belittle any good that you can do. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says in the authentic hadith, never belittle any act of good. Don't belittle it. If there's any good that you can do, no matter what it is, do it. Allah Azza wa Jal, he says in the Quran, فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى Imagine Allah Azza wa Jal says, anyone who does an atom's weight of good. What is an atom? How insignificant is an atom to any human being? Something you can't even see with your own eyes. But Allah Azza wa Jal says, anyone who does an atom's weight of good, he shall verily see it on the day of resurrection. So my brothers and sisters, there are numerous ways of doing good. Jump on them. Take every single opportunity that you can. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, even meeting your brother with a cheerful face, meeting someone with a smile on your face, that's a sadaqah, that's an act of charity. That's, that's, that's a means that Allah Azza wa Jal can reward you with good. Anything. Wallah, it doesn't have to be dramatic. You know, sometimes we think that, look, if I can't give $10,000 in charity, well, therefore I shouldn't give any charity whatsoever. Why? How do you know? How do you know by Allah that one good deed, that one good deed could be the difference, could be the difference between Jannah and Jahannam. That one good deed. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says that Allah loves the small action that's consistent Allah loves this more than the large action, but it was a one-off. No, that consistency, even if it's small, Allah Azza wa Jal, He loves it. Any act of good, do it. Don't waste time. Wallah, my brothers, this is shaitan at his absolute best when he makes you feel insignificant, that whatever good you are going to do, that really in the scheme of things, what's it going to really change? No, is it good? Yes, then do it. Do it. Don't worry about how and where and why and really is it going to change anything. That's Allah's job. Your job and my job is that if Allah presents me with a situation, with an opportunity where I can contribute something, contribute something. Imagine the Prophet Wasallam in the authentic hadith, he says there was a man running in Jannah. A man was running and he was enjoying his paradise. And guess what made him enter? He saw that a branch from a tree was coming out and that it was in the way of the Muslims. Yani it was in the way of the walkway. So the man decided, he said to himself, I can see that this branch has become an inconvenience. It's become a nuisance for the Muslims. So I shall remove it to make things easier for the Muslims. That was the very action that made this man run around in his Jannah and enjoy his Jannah. From what, what did he do? Wallah, in the scheme of things, he removed a branch. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, the good and the bad deeds of my ummah was presented to me. He said, and I found that removing a harmful object from the road was put in their good deeds. Something as little as this. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu in the authentic narration, you know, he calls upon the Muslim women and he says, Oh Muslim women, Oh Muslim women, don't belittle any act of good. Even if it's giving your neighbor the hoof, and imagine the foot of an animal, what value does that have? But to give that as a gift to your neighbor is an act of good. And this is Islam that a believer should be the one who does good wherever he is, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the vibe. If you see an opportunity to do good, jump on it because by Allah, you don't know what may come out of this. Think of it as a seed that you planted into the earth. You don't know what's going to come out of it. We do what we do for Allah's pleasure and then we see whatever Allah wants to do with it. An atom's weight, an atom's weight, you shall see its reward on the day of judgment. And today you are alive. It's a golden opportunity to make the most of it. Don't waste my brothers and sisters. Don't waste your time. Any goodness, Allah, 
any amal khair, anything, bro, anything, no matter how insignificant it seems to you, it brings the pleasure of Allah. 